Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back at Downtown Disney. Today is Monday the 7th, and today is the day that the stay at home order is in effect at Downtown Disney. So food can no longer be consumed here. We heard yesterday that you couldn't even bring in water, but, but it turns out you actually can. You can bring, you just can't drink it here. So let me go ahead and show you so far what's changed as soon as you walk into Downtown Disney. So for starters, Earl's Sandwich. Looks like so they're getting rid of all their chairs and tables. All the chairs and tables over here that were used for dining before in front of the old AMC building, gone. Wiped out completely. Another big change is I think that Starbucks is closed. There's two locations here. So far, the, this is the one that's close to the entrance of Downtown Disney on the Simulot side, and it is closed. The Blue Ribbon Corn Dogs and California Trail are closed, but I think it's because it's too early. Right now it's about 9.06, and I believe that they open like around 10. Wow, check out Jazz Kitchen. All the tables, chairs are gone. That is such a sad sight. Man. Let's see if the uh, Jazz Kitchen Express is going to be open today though. But for sure, for sure, Jazz Kitchen is closed. So it seems like all the tables and chairs at Tortilla Joe's, they're all still out. And then the uh, tables and chairs in front of Splitsville, those are still out. But Black Tap, they got rid of all their chairs, so there's nowhere to sit here anymore. It's not just me, right? It's pretty sad. There's nowhere to sit anymore. You can still sit like on the on the, like the the planter area, but I mean, you just can't eat anything here. In case anybody was wondering, Marceline's confectionery is still open. But again, you gotta take that snack to go. All right, again, so since I mentioned earlier, all the stores are closed currently, so all the like there's still some tables and chairs. Like Maple still has some, but I'm pretty sure by today they'll probably move it, or maybe they just won't open this area up anymore. So we'll come back and check later on when when everything fully opens. All right, so let me confirm this. Both Starbucks locations at Downtown Disney are closed. I'll go ahead and check back later to see if it opens up eventually, but as of right now, doors are closed and, by not, and, and usually around this time it's open. So in case you guys didn't know, World of Disney and all the other shops here on Downtown Disney are running at a 20% capacity due to the new stay at home order. So, but so far it doesn't seem to be affecting World of Disney too much. They're not too busy as you guys can see. It's just a walk-in right now. There's no virtual queue lines going on and no, no nothing. You can literally just come in, walk in, shop around all right so quick update for you guys california churro will be opening as well as the wetzel pretzel stand and blue ribbon corn dogs they will be open as well so i have to admit today is pretty empty um there's like there's no virtual queue for buena vista street there's not even like a standby line i think everybody's just walking right in but there's something that i thought was pretty interesting over here at the ticket booth it looks like the screen i don't know if the screen's out or if they just covered it but there's uh all the screens are gone and all the uh, ticket booths so since buena vista street is a walk-in i think we should just go ahead and you know look around see what's different so as soon as you enter buena vista street you're immediately greeted with two hand sanitizing stations and a hand washing station and this sign this is california state order prohibits eating and drinking on disneyland resort property at this time so just a heads up so here's the current line for five and dime it's not too bad yet it gets a lot worse like later on in the day <laughs> it gets a lot longer and then the line for trolley treats is not too bad. It's actually pretty short for the morning. And then it looks like they actually are selling snacks and, and treats in there. Because they actually have the menu over here of what you can buy inside. You can still get like the apples and everything, the cookies, the cupcakes. This is my favorite. Uh, the Number peppermint one. malo one. Yeah, and then these are all the pin releases we've had uh, last Thursday. Oh, check it out, guys. Pin releases. Now, one thing to note is you can buy all these treats you just can't eat them on property yep all right so i'm about to show you guys something very very sad in my opinion so you know we're all hoping for one of the streets to, like extend and open up more so we can like you know enjoy the, the the park more they actually reduced it by a lot so let me go ahead and show you guys the entrance for grizzly peak this is how far you can actually get in now you can't even pass smoke jumpers grill you can't get to like the popcorn stand nothing You're, you can go as close as to, like the churro cart which is also closed because they're not selling churros right now so here's where it's roped off as far as you can go and then they did the same thing for like the uh the avengers campus area you can no longer walk past uh right here like these carts so we're going to show you guys so yesterday they had all these merch carts over here on the side and then they had all these like food vendor carts inside that extended area by uh, avengers campus but they had to move it back out here because they actually closed off that area where the where the food carts were so they do have these vendor carts over here but they're not selling food anymore they're only selling popcorn buckets sipper cups and uh bottled water but you cannot drink it on property as you guys may know by now so if you guys buy water just make sure to take it to your car or just go off property and drink it then and then come back in so as mentioned in yesterday's video carthay circle was gonna be closed they still have their seating area but you can't sit in there you can't even go in there and this section this one was full of tables chairs they had like those tables you can stand up at and eat 
that's all gone now. Man. There are some cast members that said award winners. I'm not sure if they're gonna be selling food or not, but maybe maybe they'll sell corn dogs to go. I'm not too sure. And then over here, I thought off the page was actually closed, but it's not. It's roped off like but just before that and it's open in this area. You just still can't go to Hollywood Studios and then you just can't go where Hyperion Theater is. So this area is about the same as it was before. Except it looks like they actually moved the churro car. That was the place here where the like the wet spot on the floor is. Now it's over here to the left. Right where I'm standing, yesterday there was tables in this area also gone. They still have the benches over here by the streets, but I just feel like they don't want you hanging out too much. So must be another reason why they got rid of a lot of the seating. Because I mean, they could have kept it just like sitting, but it's all gone. So also the Starbucks inside of Buena Vista Street, which is Fiddler Pfeiffer and Practical Cafe. That is closed. It says on the window, it says, sorry, we are closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out now. Buena Vista Street is like way too sad to be in. Uh, I'm really glad it came yesterday and I uh, got to enjoy how it was at one point. And if you guys wanted to see that video, it's the last video that I posted before this one. So, man, it's so sad to be here. I had made the mistake last time when Disneyland was closing that they said it was gonna be only closed for two weeks. I made the mistake of not coming here that day because it was raining and I highly regret that. <laughs> so I, I wanted to make sure I was there yesterday and I wanted to make sure I was there today too to just to show the differences and like what it all looks like. So at least you guys know what Buena Street is looking like. Let's go back to downtown Disney and see if anything's opened up or what's still closed. So it's 11 o'clock over here at Downtown Disney. So I'm gonna go back through the area and like see what stores are permanently shut down for now and which ones are open. So for starters, this is the Starbucks closest to World of Disney. This one's still closed. So here's another one that I was kind of unsure. Jamba Juice is gonna be open. Just once again, you cannot drink their drinks on property, but I'm really glad to hear that they're gonna be open. Napolini has their doors open currently, but I'm not sure where you would enter. I'm not sure they're gonna be doing like uh, pizza to go. But that would be a good idea if they did. This one is a real shocker. I really thought this one was going to be closed. Salt and Straw is actually open. They have a sign in the front that says, please wait to enjoy your ice cream outside Disney property. Thank you. So not only will the uh, Wetzel Pretzels cart be open, but also Wetzel Pretzels itself will be open. So that's good. I'm glad to see that still some of the food places will be open, but you know, sadly you can't eat it on property, but, but that's okay. As long as we get to hang out here at downtown Disney, I'm happy. Well, that and if they got rid of the $10 parking, because, I mean, I come here a lot, so that really adds up. <laughs> I'm also really happy to see the sprinkles is remaining open as well. So I just spoke to what looks like a manager here at Jazz Kitchen. And as I thought, Jazz Kitchen will be closed and the Express will be open to sell beignets. And I believe drinks, I'm not too exactly sure, but he did mention beignets for sure. So it turns out the Earl's Sandwich is not closed. They're just doing to-go orders. I thought they were closed, but they were just closed at the time because it was so early in the morning. Well, overall, today was a good day. It was just very sad. <laughs> It was so sad to see like all the changes that happened like literally in one day and um i'm gonna miss the fact that before you can drink water and now you can't because i drink a lot of water but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one